course, this is Phantom Base here with our very first Pokemon Masters Cup uh, battle here. We are going up against the Kansas City Kingdras and their coach, Kingdra Plays Games. Um, his link will be in the description below of this video. If you didn't check out the team prep before this, make sure you go and watch that before we hop into this battle. Um, once again, I'm going to quickly go over the team that we have going on here. I don't want to save the game. I've already saved it. Let's go into Pokemon. And we're going to quickly go over this team. We've got 5th of November, the Victini, um, holding the Choice Scarf, V Create, Bolt Strikes in, Headbutt, U Turn. Seems kind of standard. It's really actually got enough. It's really there to outspeed Lander, Tornado Therian, and kill things. We've got uh, Hamden the Hydreigon, holding the Assault Vest, Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, U Turn. We've got Doctor Who the Celebi, Giga Drain, Heal Bell, Psychic, Stealth Rock, Carry the Mega Gardevoir, Psy Shock, Hyper Voice, Shadow Sneak, and Energy Ball. We're going to be being a little, little cheeky today. Boat Wrecker, the Avalug with Avalanche, Rapid Spin, Toxic, and Recover. And finally, Maka, the Milotic, Scald, Ice Beam, Recover, and Mirako. There to kill off Mega Venusaur if we can. Alright, so we see Kingdra here. We're going to um, send the challenge here. And we're actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut out, and we'll be back shortly. Alright, and we are back. We are joined by my brother here, Defleeb. He's hanging out over here on the side, and we're also joined by our puppies. And, um,. We are going to get into this battle here. Hopefully we will have ourselves a nice, good, clean battle. As few hacks as possible. But if the hacks do come, please let them be against him. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to hit battle start. Once again, I will have to um, forgive my thumb in this, but that's okay. So anyway, so we are preparing for his team to have... First off, this thing shows up in the middle of my screen out of nowhere. Mega Venus for Tornadus, Therian, Vaporeon, Arcanine, Domfan, and Eruptus. Let's see what he actually brings. He's bringing Arcanine, Domfan, Chinchino. He doesn't bring Mega Venus at all. Vaporeon, Rotom, Frost, and no Hitmonlee. We've essentially won the game already. So, um, that's interesting setup for sure. I'm actually going to go ahead and update these sprites real fast. Because I want to, um, well, I'm going to update him throughout the video if I can. So, let me get these in. But I think he's actually probably going to lead. He doesn't bring Hitmonlee at all, which makes me really happy. It also kind of freaks me out a little bit. So, I think he's going to lead Dawn Fan. Which makes me really want to lead with, I actually have no reason not to lead with Mega Gardevoir here. So, I think that's what we're going to do. The Mega Gardevoir is literally here to kill off the Dawn Fan and not allow him to get up and either allow him to not allow him to spin away rocks. His only spinner is Dawn Fan as well. So, I think we're going to lead with Mega Guard and we'll go from there. All right. So, that should be that. Um actually, I'm really sorry you guys can't see the video. But I'm going to go ahead I'm sorry, that didn't show up. Something happened, but that's okay. We're just going to keep going with this. and So once again, like I said, I am planning on him leading with the Dawn Fan. If he does not lead Dawn Fan, I mean, we'll be fine either way. We can take almost every hit that's there. So. Did I not hit confirm? I really hope I hit confirm. Did I hit confirm? I didn't hit confirm. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're gonna <laughs> shut up. So it looks like we're gonna have to. Okay, so he leads Rotom Frost, which is interesting. Nope, I did hit confirm. So he leads with Rotom Frost, which is super duper interesting to say the least. We're gonna have Levitate on our side now, um, which tells me that he is one of two things. He is either um, Choice Scarfed, or he's gonna try to Thunder Wave me, which is also super duper annoying um i didn't actually expect half of this team which is kind of funny honestly so um this rotom frost can't really do much to um let's see who do i have i'm actually going well see, that's the thing i really can't do much to this thing normally so I think what I'm going to have to do actually is go straight out for a Hyper Voice. And if he goes for a Thunder Wave, we switch out to Celebi and go for a Heal Bell. 
That's going to be our play to make right there. So, we stay in the Mega Gardevoir, and we have a huge, huge amount of special attack investment. We are modest and max special attack, so hopefully we will be smacking some serious stuff. He is Scarfed. That is confirmed. He is Scarfed. So, actually, no, that is not necessarily true. He might just be max speed. So, um, once again, really sorry about the beginning. Um, the video I didn't have the video recording at the time, but that is okay. We will, we will have this set up and good to go. So, um... We are set up and good to go right now. We are recording two different ways. Um, so he goes for the Volt Switch, which is super duper obvious, I think. Um, let me think. Let me go ahead and put in his other sprite, which was, um, I'm trying to remember what it was. I know he didn't bring um, Aromatis. He brought um, Chinchino, actually. Okay, so we went straight away for the Hyper Voice. Which is gonna bot this tornadoes. All right, so he's already faster than us. We're actually going to go out into our Avalug here. He's either gonna go for U-turn. He's gonna go for a um, hurricane of some kind. We are fully specially defensive. We already have a base 184 defense. He's not gonna do anything to us. Chinchino. Oh, sorry. This one's gonna have to reorder and frost him. I have him backwards, but that's okay. So. I will switch the names up later. Right now, I just want the pictures in. So he was for a sludge wave, which I easily predicted. I was fine with. Oh, we eat that up super duper easily. Um, that was that was a good play on our part. Now we have some serious initiative here. Um, I'm going to predict him. I'm trying to think. He had Chinchino. Ar Arcanine is what he's going to go for. I'm going to right away go for a Toxic because he doesn't have anything to block it. So he goes for a U-turn, which I expected. We're going to eat that up because we have so much physical defense it's not even funny. Um, let me find out what number Chinchino is so I can put it in while I'm waiting. We're going to go for a Toxic here. To, probably on whatever he does. It, nothing that he can bring in wants to deal with it. So... That is his team right there, now that we can see it. I think it's kind of funny that he didn't bring his Mega Venusaur at all. I'm also glad he didn't bring his Hitmonlee. That was the thing that was going to give us the most trouble. So, that being said, um, now we're looking at a, a pretty good match here. Um, he brings in Vaporeon. Oh, I'm so happy about that. He's probably going to go for a Heal Bell, I think. I think... So I want to go into, um, we got the Toxic off, which was lovely. Um, that's going to be putting in some serious damage here. If he, if he goes for a Heal Bell, we're actually going to go out into, uh, I'm tempted to go out into, um, uh, that's the problem. I don't have many good switch in, switch-ins to this thing, but I do have, um, Mega Guard, who has Energy Ball. But I'm not going to risk that. I'm actually going to go straight out into Doctor Who is our special wall. And we're going to expect him to go straight for a Scald or a Heal Bell. Either way, it doesn't do him much good on any front. He goes for a Toxic. That's perfect, actually. We have Heal Bell on our side. And we also have Natural Cure. So I'm going to actually fake the fact that we don't have Heal Bell. And I'm going to just go for a Stealth Rock first. And then we're going to swap out. Because I want him to think that we don't have Heal Bell, so that he's just going to say, okay, we can Toxic everything. And all of a sudden, I just ruined the plan to stall everything. So if he goes for Protect, that's fine. I'm actually going to go straight for Stealth Rock, and there's nothing he can do about it. And then on top of that, if he goes into Dawn Fan, expecting me to um, go for this, then we can easily just swap out and go for... um. If I can get Stealth Rocks up before he goes out into Dawn Fan, that'd be perfect. Because once I do that, I can switch in on him trying to Rapid Spin, and we'll go out into... Oh, he goes out in Tornadus. Even better. That's... E that's Oh, that's that was the, the perfect scenario right there. That's what I wanted. So we're going to heal back everything that we lost, and then take a little bit extra. Then we're going to swap out into our um, Avalog again. This is... Avalog is our hard counter for this thing. Okay, so we're going to go back out to Avalog. He's probably going to either pull a double, or he's going to go straight for U-turn. 
He might go for Hurricane, predicting me to go into Avalug, but um, Avalug is the play to make here. He has no reason not to not to go into that. So now we are fully healed up, no more Toxic. He goes for a U-turn, which I expected, so he's probably going to go out into Arcanine. Um, which is fine with me, because I have Milotic here to eat up all the hits from this th from that thing. And I I'm literally just sitting here walling him at this point. Which is okay with me, because we're going to be breaking down his walls first. So, it looks like we've got, the we've got control of this battle so far, it looks like. He's making a lot of defensive plays, which is okay. His only really two offensive Pokemon here look like Arcanine and Chinchino. Honestly, if he's not Scarf Chinchino, he's probably gonna be, he's probably gonna be banded, expecting me to be banded on any on my Victini in particular. So that being said, I think he's going to um, go back out into to well, I think he's gonna switch straight out into Arcanine actually here, and then we will see what happens from there. I'm glad it also he didn't bring the Double Blade, which also makes for a good lead. Or makes for a good time for me. So he did, he's brought the three. He didn't bring the three Pokemon I expected him to bring. Th that I was afraid of him bringing: Mega Venusaur, Dublade, and Hitmonlee. All three, which were pretty big threats to my team, but now they're they're not here. So that's literally perfect. He goes back out into his Rotom. That's interesting. It takes 25% from rocks. So he doesn't have much of a switch here. He could go for a Toxic, but um. I don't see him having much need to do that. So I literally think I'm going to hit recover. I think I'm going to hit recover here. He's going to go for. No, sorry, he's scarfed. He's going to go for full switch. Again. I'm just going to click recover, expecting him to do that again. Or he could go for Will O Wisp, which doesn't make much sense if he's scarfed. Alright, where's my pin? I need to start writing this stuff down. Um. I know I have a pin around here somewhere. I'm going to click recover to sit up. Oh, he went for Volt Switch. Okay, so that's good. Um, okay, so he goes for Volt Switch. We probably ate that up. I wasn't really paying much attention to it, honestly. Neptune again, which is fine. Just fine. Take some more rocks damage. I'm going to get heal build up, or get recovered up. Always a good time there. Awesome. Thank you. So, right now he's got Vape, which is Leftovers, Rotom Frost, which is Scarfed, possibly. Um, we're going to go, actually I didn't mean to stick my finger in the screen, which is, but that's okay. We're going to actually go out into Doctor Who again, because there's no reason not to. He's literally just going to go for another Toxic. And all we're going to do is just get healed up. He goes for a heal bell. I figured he would do that. So what's actually going to happen is I'm going to go straight away for a Giga Drain. Either that or I could predict him switching and go for a Psychic. Because what it looks like to me is he is Scald, Heal Bell, Toxic, and probably Wish. So he's got Heal Bell, Toxic, and I don't know what his other two moves are. He's got Volt Switch. And then on Road and Frost. And he's got Torn T with... Uh, what does he have? He's got U-Turn. What was the other move we saw? We didn't see Hurricane. What did we see? I don't know what the other move was. He's probably got Hurricane, to be honest. And he's got Don Fan. He's got Arcanine. And he's got Chinchino. Okay, so right now, we're going to take a quick step back. We're going to actually smack Psychic, predicting him to switch. If he doesn't, we can get a special D drop, and that'd be really nice to have. Then he's going to have to switch. Either that or he stays in and sacks off a Porygon. Okay, so we went straight for a Psychic. Vaporeon is specially defensive. Okay, he's got Wish. Always good to know. So he's probably 
It, don't tell me he's Wish Protect. That would be crazy. Because then he has no attacking moves. And we don't have to worry about this Vaporeon. Okay, so let's let's take a gander here real fast. Alright, alright, alright. Last move is probably Scald. So, because he wouldn't keep a non-attacking move on here. But that means he doesn't have Ice Beam, which means we are free to stay in on this thing. And he's probably going to go out into either... I'm going to make a hard read here. I'm going to make a bold, bold prediction here. He's going to either go out... He's going to go out into... He's either going to go for Protect, or he's going to go out into his Tornadus. Either way, we are going out into Victini. He withdraws. Okay, what does he go out into? What does he go out into? Let's find out. He sends out Tornadus. That's perfect. That's literally perfect. Now he takes the rocks, or he takes the rocks damage, and he gets healed up by Wish, which is fine with me. He probably has no physical defense investments. We're actually going to go straight for a. Uh, let me think. Let me look at that calc real fast. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. Tor no. Tornadus Therian. A OU Assault Vest Pivot. Um, let's leave him at 50 instead of 100. V Create kills him. You're predicting me to go for Bolt Strike, so I'm actually going to click V Create instead. Haha. -ha. We're faster because we're scarfed, and he probably knows that now. V Create will one shot this thing. Got him. So, Tornadus Therian dies to Big Teeny's V Create. Okay, so that was a good prediction on my part. I made the good hard read, and now he's going to probably go out into his Arcanine or his Dawn Fan, which leads me to want to go out into um, Milotic either way. Milotic is a hard wall to both of them. I could also go out into my Hydreigon. But I don't know how well that would work, considering the fact that he actually is... Uh, he could bring in the Dawn Fan, and Dawn Fan would probably kill me in a couple shots with Ice Shard. He knows I'm Scarf now, he has to, because we outsped his Tornadus. Which means we probably outspeed his Chinchino. And to be perfectly honest, if he brings that in, good play on him, that was really smart. Because we are now at normal speed now that we've use V create. I should have gone for Bolt Strike. That would have been the smarter thing to do. Okay, so we ran that calc. That was a good good pickup for us. Let me check. I think somebody messaged me on Skype. Oh, he, he texted me, or he messaged me just now. Oh, yep, he went out into Dawn Fan. That was that was my one of my predictions here. I'm going to... I have no reason to stay in here. So I'm actually going to... Um, I think I'm going to go out into um, my Hydreigon. If he goes for a knockoff, it's resisted. And Assault Vest isn't doing me much good now that there's no Mega Venusaur and no um, Tornadus. I figured he'd go for the knockoff, so that was a good play on his part. Um, Don fan his knockoff, which is fine. We're actually going to go for... Let's see, what what other Pokemon does he have here? He's got Rotom Frost. Nothing here really wants to take a Draco, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to click Draco. Nothing here wants to take one, period. But now he's knocked off my Assault Vest. And that means that he knows I can switch moves up. Even still, I could switch up moves anyway. But he didn't know that until he knocked off my assault vest. So he withdraws. He's probably going to go out into his Rotom Frost. No, he goes out into his Vaporeon. Okay, so if we can connect this Draco Meteor, we're probably going to knock this thing out. 
can we kill it? Can we KO this thing? No, we cannot. That's crazy. This thing is so fat. Because we're actually going to go for a U-turn here. Because there's no reason not to. He's going to go for a wish. And probably protect. Ugh, but I have no choice. I can't kill him with any other move. U-turn might get a crit and kill him. Besides the fact that I'm not exactly invested in attack, but he's still got a decent attack stat. Let me look at my Hydreigon here. Hydreigon is my Hamden set. We're going to go Vaporeon you, you wish. Probably max special defense. The way he's looking like he's running it, it's max special defense. U-turn. Well, we need to set it to level 50. U-turn has a chance to KO this thing. No, it does not. It does not. U-turn has no chance to KO this thing. Not in any universe does it have a chance to KO this thing. Okay, so we smack him with a U-turn. Unless we get a crit, we're not going to kill him. Yeah, I didn't think so. But still, that did a good chunk. That did a very good chunk. And now there's no Tornadus to wall me. So I think the play to make here is to go into our, our Gardevoir. Goes for Wish. Which I fully expected. Okay, now he's either got Protect, or he's going to swap into something. And I'm going to predict him to swap into something, but I don't quite know what. Or do I just predict him to stay in? I'm going to click Psyshock. Because nothing on his team wants to take a Psyshock from me. And on top of that, if we if he goes for protect, then we know he has no attacking moves, and we can bring anything we want to in on this thing, and it's literally set up fodder. We have nothing to really set up with, but that's okay, because we don't really need to. Not with the team he's got. Victini is now back to normal speeds. We will outspeed this Chinchino as well, unless it's scarfed, of course, but I don't expect him to be scarfed. So... I'm surprised by how long this battle is taking. <laughs> he's taking a long time to pick his moves. But um, it's mostly because he's got hard reads to make here. Psyshock is the safe move to make, though. It hits, it, it hits everything for neutral damage. It will probably knock out the Rotom Frost. Oh, we kill off the Vaporeon. Wow, okay. So, Vaporeon dies to make a guard. Alright, so that's a thing. Now here's my favorite part. If he goes out into Dawn Fan, we automatically outspeed him. And he can't kill me with an Ice Shard. I've already ran the calcs for that, because we invested just enough defense and HP. Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Okay, so. We will... We know this thing... Is, in fact, probably... Well, he's not Scarf. He's probably Banded. Even Banded damage, this thing cannot kill us, I don't think. It cannot kill Avalug. Avalug is our Boat Wrecker. Chinchino is our physical attacker, I guess. Choice Band, Jolly Skill Link. Um, Rock Blast doesn't move 64%. He goes for Bullet Seed. He's definitely not killing us with that. There's no way. He's doing like 10 damage tops. Ooh, that was a crit. <laughs> His heal beller is gone now too, by the way. So if he... Now here's the thing. If he's banded into this, then he's going to be doing nothing to us. Bullet Seed did about... It didn't do banded damage. It looks like he's scarfed. 
If he's not scarfed, I'm going to go for a recover and find out what he is. He's either scarfed or he's banded, but he withdraws. He's definitely scarfed. He scarfed himself to outspeed. Okay, so we're letting this Rotom Frost just take hits on hits right now. And we're going to smack it with a Toxic this turn. I just want to smack anything that comes in with a Toxic this turn. There's no reason not to. That's literally the best thing we can do. So Dom Fan comes in. He used Trick. So he is definitely Scarfed. He was Scarfed, yeah, I figured. Well, guess what? If he tries to go for a Choice Scar. Or if he tries to go for a Volt Switch here. I should have switched into Sinking Mega Guard of War. That was a poor play on my part. Also, I need to take off a Porion from this layout. He Will O Wisps me. Which, while on one hand, was a decent play, me getting Toxic off on him is a better play for me. Because he can't. Now, his left, him tricking leftovers wasn't the greatest idea. Because now he's just going to sit here and take stuff. Forever and ever, amen. Okay, so now he's got to make a read here. And I'm going to make the read first. He either goes for a Volt Switch against a Victini that can easily take it, or he swaps because he's poisoned and needs to preserve this thing. He goes for Blizzard. Nice. That's barely doing anything to us. We have special defense investment like crazy. Now, if he goes for Dawn Fan here, I can almost guarantee you that he is, in fact, going to go into Dawn Fan. I want to predict him and go f predict that. I'm just going to go for a U-turn. It's a safe play to make right now because if he brings in Chin if he brings in Dawn Fan, then we're good. If he brings in Chinchino, we're better. But I do want to keep the momentum on my side here. That trick was annoying more than anything. But we can easily just heal bell that off once we get rid of this thing in Arcanine. <sighs> right now my wing cons are coming through. Um, Victini is doing a really good job of keeping it together. Um, so yeah, okay, let me double check how this is looking. Alright, so we're good, we're good. I don't know why he brought Rotom Frost. It's one of the... <laughs> it's not a very good Pokemon. It's typing is interesting, but it's also terrible because it's weak to rock, it's weak to fire, it's weak to fighting. And those are pretty common types. And I'm staring it in the face with the Victini right now. He's either got a switch. He goes for his own Volt Switch is my guess. But, ooh, that did a lot of damage. He's going to think I either am banded or something like that. If he goes for Volt, if he goes for Volt Switch, let's go out into Doctor Who, predicting him to go, out go for a Volt Switch. We're still specially defensive. He can't do anything. He goes for the Volt Switch. That's what I figured. So we made the right play here. We made the correct play. That thing dies on re-entry, so we're going to have to go ahead and give it, give that KO to um, Rotom Frost. Dies to Celebi. Rocks. Dies to Celebi's rocks. He either goes out into Arcanine or he goes out into Chinchino. But I'm thinking he goes out into Arcanine. This is an interesting battle for sure. <laughs> Definitely interesting. <laughs> he brings in the Chinchino. Very interesting indeed. Okay. What does this Chinchino want to do to me? Chinchino will know knockoff, rock. Oh, it's got knockoff. If he's scarfed, 
and he goes for a knockoff. I think I'm going to go into Hydreigon here. That's our best play to make, because he's either going to go for a knockoff, and if he goes for a knockoff, it's useless. He goes for a U-turn. Very clever play, sir. Dang. Hmm. Hydreigon didn't take that very well. Hmm, that was not in our favor. Looks like it's time for us to sack something off. And for the first time, it's probably going to be Hydreigon. Hmm, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want that at all. Now, is he packing Ice Shard on his Dompain is the question. Because if I can get a free switch in on anything... I'd want it to be that Dawn fan. He goes out into Rotom Frost, which dies on re-entry. So yeah, Rotom Frost dies to Stealth Rocks, which is always a good time here. I'm going to rename these because it's bothering me really bad. Shinchino is annoying, but it's not that good of a matchup against my team. Okay, so. What is my Hydreigon? What, what set do I have on here? I'm trying to remember. I invested a little bit of HP, a lot of specialty. So his only Pokemon left are Chinchino and Donphan and Arcanine. So we get rid of Chinchino and Milotic can clean up here. Or, yeah. We get rid of Chinchino and Milotic can clean up here. This Chinchino is 100% scarfed, though. Now let's check out Victini. Rock Blast is probably going to kill us. Ah, that's the Chinchino. Okay, he's going to go for a U-turn here. I, mean, I essentially get a free switch. He's faster than me for sure. If he goes for the U-turn, I'm going to let him kill off my Hydreigon here. Or he goes for Rock Blast. Not exactly his best move. Hydreigon dies to Chinchino. If I think... Do I think he's Scarfed? We might have to sack off Celebi here too to find out. <laughs> Let's find out. If he is if he is in fact scarfed, he will swap. He withdraws. I figured. See, here's my favorite part. He goes out into Alpha Dog. The Arcanine. Okay, so we have done our part here. <laughs> So if he goes for Flare Blitz, we're in good shape. How well does... Arcanine Defensive. Flare Blitz does... <sighs> How much? Flare Blitz is doing nothing, but let's check out Offensive. Not Blank Set. <sighs> I wish my computer didn't lag so much. Alright, offensive, level 50. Flare Blitz isn't touching us hardly. Even offensive, this thing isn't touching us. We're gonna go out into Victini. But I do know now that that. 
that Chinchino is scarfed. He goes for Flame Charge. That's interesting. That's doing nothing to us. Literally nothing to us. And we still outspeed him after his Life Orb, too. Okay, so we're going to go straight for the Zen Headbutt. It's just the smart thing to do. If he goes out into... Okay, he goes for Flare Blitz. He's actually faster than us, which is funny. That's not going to do anything to us, though. Because now he's going to take Recoil. He's going to take Life Orb. And then he's going to get killed. Bop. Alright, so Arcanine dies to Victini. Yokohama. I think now is the time to sack off no one. Let me check out my Latuka fast. Because I want to see if it can live Chinchino. Let's make a choice scarf instead because we know it's scarfed. Bullet Seed does not kill us, which is perfect. So, I'm actually going to let Victini go down here. Maybe we can get a flinch here? Bop. That did nothing. It goes for Stealth Rocks. Late game rocks. Late game rocks. Interesting. Okay. And if this thing is choice banded, it's it has a chance to kill me. Oh gosh. With my come on, computer, really? Well, there went my computer. My other computer anyway. Um he goes for rocks. He's probably going to go for rapid spin next. I'm actually going to go out into carry here. If he goes for an EQ, that's fine. I get a free switch into Victini. He goes for EQ. Yeah, we're dead. That's fine. That's fine. I expected as much. Okay, so Dawn Fan. Mega Guard dies to Dawn Fan. See, now I get a free swap into whoever I want. That's literally going to be Milotic. Because Milotic will kill this thing in a shot. Now. Dawn Fan. Defensive Spinner. Scald pretty much has the has the Oko chance here. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go for Scald. We have no reason not to. If we can burn the Chinchino, it's even better. Chinchino can't kill us because we know it's scarfed. And this game is dragging out. He takes forever. Oh my gosh. And I know I seem impatient, but goodness gracious. So, yeah, we're just waiting on him to pick his move. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to take Arcanine out. I also need to take out my Pokemon, too. Arcanine. Shiny Garbor. Shiny Hydreigon. Are gone. So we still got our four, and we got Victini. Victini will live the rocks that it comes in. We go for Scald. Probably going to either kill it or burn it. We don't kill it. We do burn it. That's what I wanted. He goes for a knockoff. Which is surprising. That was a crit. Wow. 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 He's going to die to his burn, though, I think. 
He does not die to his burn. Wow, that's crazy. We're actually going to click recover here, because it's the smart thing to do. He didn't... Wait a minute. Domfan has knockoff, it has EQ, it has stealth rocks, and he has... What? He doesn't have rapid spin? Okay, so he's going to die to his burn now. And we have a little bit more HP than we started with, which is perfect. <laughs> so, Domfan dies to burn from Milo Tick. Which is good. That was a big problem. Now we're just going to click Scald. We live everything that this thing can do to us because we know it's Scarfed. Even Bullet Seed doesn't kill us. Oh, yeah. Two. Three. Actually, might not live this. Four. Nope, we're not living. Five. Wow. Well, he's locked in the Bullet Seed, which is good to know. Because now we can go... Okay, so... Milotic dies to Chinchino. He's locked into Bullet Seed now, which is good. Because now we can go into Boat Wrecker and actually get him a kill. We are going to go for Avalanche. And all he can do is go for Bullet Seed because he is locked into it. Yeah, we're, we won. We got this game. <laughs> he could get five crits in a row and not kill us. <laughs> oh, we got a little crit on the last hit. And we go for Avalanche. And there it is. We get the kill. Chinchino dies to Avalog. Let me let me message him and say good green good game. All right, so after we edit all this in, let me just go ahead and say that your Fort Worth Altarias take their first win in the Pokemon Masters Cup. We won 3-0 against the Kansas City Kingdra's. Very, very good battle, Kingdra. That was, that, that was definitely an interesting team that you brought. I really, really liked it. Um, I am I'm looking forward to battling you again in a couple week, in a few weeks when we have our second battle, because you are in my conference. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are hyped for your Cleveland Cavaliers and their first win of this season, um, make sure you smash that like button to show your support. And if that's all that's been for me, this has been Phantom Base, your coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.